Alright YouTube, this bike is even further complete. And I'm not joking. I'm 100% not joking. Um, I've been looking into it and getting more parts for it. I've got the spacer now for it, so I've got the starter on it. I just ordered a new starter because this starter's off, this uh, starter, the, the pull string's off a scooter. So it's facing the wrong way. Because you'd pull it you know, backwards. I just ordered one that comes out of the top here that you pull up here. So let me show you. I just just found out, well not just barely, but I found out why these don't rev out. Somebody else has one of these and w is wondering, you know, why don't they rev out like they should? Why don't they go as fast as they should? Well, if you look at this port, you can see how large this port is. I'll show you the gasket. You can see how large this port is, right? And that's how large the port should be, you know, for letting the exhaust out, right? And through the exhaust. Look how small it is on the actual exhaust. Let's see if we can focus in here. Yeah, it's better. Look. It's like it, it's like trying to blow a golf ball through a straw. It just doesn't work. That's this is why it doesn't, you know, breathe clearly enough. This is why it doesn't rev up to speed. This is why it doesn't rev out because there's not enough room for it to, to blow the exhaust out. Now if you look really closely here, you can actually see the shape of the port. So it's definitely trying really hard to get the, that exhaust out, but it just can't do it. Now most people could just port this a little bit bigger because there's, there's room on either side for improvement and up and down. Up and down not so much because that's like perfect. But side to side you can open it up a little bit more. Uh, but what I'll be doing is chopping this pipe off chopping this off because that's not big enough for me um, and I'll be putting this pipe on it's just a chromed pipe it's not stainless steel just simply a chromed pipe it's not very thick but it's thick enough to weld on it's much larger than that pipe though as you can see you could fit this pipe inside this pipe. That's a, a pretty good in, improvement. So I'll be chopping this pipe off up here, opening this up, welding this pipe on, or probably welding this pipe on and then opening it up to the largest that I can in diameter to fit this pipe correctly. Um, I'm not sure which I'll do first because, let me see, where's that? Where'd that gasket go? Up right here. Because if you look, sorry for the shaky camera work here, and it's a little fuzzy. I, I really wish it wasn't this fuzzy. As you can see, there's still that's quite an improvement, right? But there's still a little bit room of, for improvement, up and down, anyways, for that pipe. So I'm thinking, let's see if we can focus in here. That's a little bit better. My battery's almost dead. That's why it's not focusing. But as you can see, there's room for improvement here. So I'm thinking if I, before I weld it on here, if I smush this pipe a little bit, it'll bend it more to that shape. You know and I mean? Because there's too much pipe up and down, but I can put a little bit more side to side. So I'm thinking if I smush it, I smush it just a little bit, it'll egg it out a little bit, make these sides go out a little, and make these sides go in a little bit so you can get maximum out of this pipe and then it'll just open it up big time. Now I'll bend the pipe to, a, to where I need to bend it to to make it fit. <clears throat> um, and then I'll probably cut it off up here and then just take some of this pipe and um, you know weld it to here but then V it off. Instead of making a circle here, I'll just make a V like this and in the center of this V there will be an opening to where the two pipes will be welded together and then I can weld this round piece on and it goes all the way down you know to here where it's squished out a little bit so it can breathe the, mo the most it can. Um, that's just a little quick update of this real quick. Um, this, is, this is why it doesn't. Um, I'll make a video of how to fix it and fixing it 
you know, I'll make a video of smushing the pipe, welding it together, putting it together. I will not leave it chrome. I will sand this all down and paint it black just like this. I may still need to open this up more though, which I probably will. I think all you have to do is take these little tack welds off all the way around and pull those centers out and either drill more holes in the baffles or just pull the baffles out. Uh, some people are like, oh, don't pull ba the baffle out of the, a two-stroke because it will won't give it enough back pressure and blah, 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 blah. Well, it's enough. Honestly, for how I run these things, that's enough back pressure alone, just these two pipes. On my scooter over here, it's almost the same thing except just a shorter, stubbier pipe. Almost the same exact size of pipe there and here. Let me get it. Bring it over here before my battery dies. If it dies, then I'll just start it again. It's almost the same exact pipe diameter. And then it just goes out. There's a little, I believe, they call them catalytic converters, but they don't heat up or anything. They're just, it's like a little honeycomb here. And then I've actually cut the baffle out of it. The baffle was in the center of it, and I just cut that out. And it had only one pipe, and that wasn't, it didn't let the gas out fast enough. So I drilled a second hole and welded in a second pipe. So that breathes very well and I can get up to speed very quickly and a high speed at that. So you know that's that's all you really need. You know, as long as you got enough back pressure to where you know you're not gonna blow it up, then that's fine. I know those pipes are a little bit bigger than these pipes. But that's fine because that's a larger CC. This is a 41 I believe and that is a 49 to 51 CC. So it's a larger CC so it can handle a little bit more just a little bit more opening, you know what I mean? It just, it needs it. So I'm gonna probably go plug this camera in and, or go plug this battery and I've got a second uh, battery. So I'll start chopping at this pipe and show you how it's done. Cool. See you later YouTube. I'm going to upload this video and then I'll use pieces of this video for the video of fixing this. So if you see this video again, it's not a re-upload. It's just a continue on for this video. And I'm giving this a custom paint job. I hope you guys like it. Um, I'll just I'll show you what it's going to look like now. Um, I've shown it to two other guys, and they really like it. It's a road rash look. It's a custom paint job. I think it rocks. Tell me what you guys think. It's supposed to look worn. It's supposed to look like it's gone through something hard you know it's just a very worn very cool look you can see the, the the white plastic here you can see the red original paint you can see primer you can see black you can see it's it's just very open and raw I've clear glossed this so you can see it's shiny and it'll protect the plastic but it's very very cool looking I've got the side off and I'll show you guys the paint doing the paint job also I've only done the top so so I have to do all the, the rest of it, like that, and the front, and the front uh, fairing, and the that side, and this side, if I haven't said this side already. But yeah, it's going to look awesome, though. See you later, YouTube. I hope you have a good one. Bye.